And on to level three. There we go. On this level, you have a time limit of 4.5 minutes. The course is more difficult, and there are more targets. Destroy as many targets as you can to increase your time limit. Um, so I could risk trying to speed through this, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to just... I'm just going to, for the first time, start taking out targets. I need some practice using the joystick to shoot. Because right now, I'm <laughs> not so great with it. So I will switch to dual and start shooting at the targets. You'll see now that with the partial recharge of the lasers, I, I'm quite a bit slower. And so I'm going to offset that by actually having my shield slowly diminished and I'm going to try and keep my shields up by transferring power from my lasers to my shields on occasion. And the, the hitboxes on these things are a little weird and actually the, the lasers are able to go through what should be solid ground. Solid anything so I I can shoot from behind. Of course, the one I didn't get was the one that shoots at me. Oobly. And apparently, I haven't tried this, but apparently I'm able to shoot from underneath these platforms if it comes to that. But hopefully it won't. So I'll just, uh, yeah, take him out. And you'll see I've, uh, I've still got three and three quarters minutes to complete this and every time if you watch the timer assuming I can hit nope can't hit every time I hit one of these targets my time goes up by two seconds so I get a get a little bump which is useful and since I took a shot there I did rebalance my shields between the front and the back as I, I'd rather not be, rather not be dying, if at all possible. With the mouse, I'm able to take out, um, so there can be a total of, of six turrets on each platform. With the mouse, I'm able to take out three with ease before getting to uh, the platform itself. So I'm hoping to get to that point with the joystick, because right now I'm I'm lucky if I can hit two. And a lot of the time I, I hit nothing at all. Oh, but I oh, there we go. I'm going quite slow this time, I feel like, so maybe that's that's part of the success. And, and th this is gonna continue. And we're halfway there and have more than half the time left, which is a good sign. Hopefully a good sign. Of course, if I, if I miss too many of them, or if I miss any of them, any of the gates and too many of the turrets, I might start to be in trouble. But hopefully... Hopefully that doesn't, that doesn't happen. I've actually turned down the cycles quite a bit on DOSBox. There is... Oh, boy. There is an issue with um, capital ships for whatever reason. So the, the, the big ships as well... Well, I guess not in this game, but in, in TIE Fighter. The space platforms and things like that actually have, for whatever reason, part of their, their laser targeting, their turbo laser targeting, is related to the speed of the CPU. So on modern CPUs, when you play in DOSBox on, on the automatic, like, max cycles, they don't shoot the way they're supposed to. And so I've turned down the cycles quite a bit to try and emulate, like, 
But the way the play it plays on a 486, which would, uh, you know, be a, a very fast CPU when this game came out. To try and, you know, as much as possible, emulate what the experience would be. And try not to make the game too easy. Oh, I missed one. Ooh, I hope that's not going to kill me there. Definitely can't miss another one. Or I'm going to be... Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close to the end, so maybe I won't be in trouble. But I could be in trouble. Don't want to be wasteful. The graphics are... are a little rough, for sure, around the edges. The uh, 320 by probably 200 scaled. Not nearly as nice as the 640 by 480 that the engine is, is capable of. I'm not sure why they did not increase the resolution, but hey, we made it through the level, which means time to go back to hyperspace. Not bad. Still need training, though. <laughs> we'll make it. Eventually. Almost halfway there, though. So that's, that's, that's something. And got a score of 33,760. I'm not sure how you're scored for going through the gates. Actually, if you buy this on GOG.com, you are able to uh, also download a copy of the strategy guide, which is incredibly handy. So I would definitely recommend getting it there. It's often on sale too.